President Muhammadu Buhari on Wednesday presented a total of 10.33 trillion naira for Nigeria's 2020 budget to a joint session of the National Assembly. And the Boko Haram leader, Abu Bakr Shekhal, says none of his members would stop violence. This is Plus Politics, and I am Felicity Ezewike. On the 9th of October, President Muhammad Buhari presented a proposal for Nigeria's 2020 budget to a joint session of the National Assembly in Abuja. Now, the total expenditure he proposed for the federal government in 2020 was put at 10.33 trillion naira. The proposal shows that about 2.45 trillion naira will be used for debt servicing, while capital expenditure is expected to gulp 2.14 trillion naira, which excludes the capital component of statutory transfers, while works and housing will take 262 billion naira. PA has a share of 127 billion naira. Agriculture and rural development is scheduled to receive 83 billion and education 48 billion. Joining me to have a conversation around this are two gentlemen. Uh, we have uh, Shegun Chopiton. Thank you very much for joining us. It's a pleasure. Thank you. And of course, uh, we have Gospel Obele. Thank you so much for joining us. I want to start from the very basic for ordinary laymen like us that don't know much about <laughs> the economy. The budget is 10.3. The revenue, overall revenue expectation is 8.155 trillion. For a layman, what does this mean? Let me start with you. All right, so basically the budget is um, about one of the most powerful, if not the most powerful uh, policy instrument. It's a financing tool for policy for every government. Um, across the world you have a situation where you have a budget deficit where the um, um, expenditure side is more than the revenue side. So it means that government in total for, for 2020 will be spending about 10.3 trillion and they expect to get a revenue of 8.1 trillion all through 2020. So in layman terms that's what it means. Yeah. Okay, in spite of all the talking, oil, the oil sector, also featured prominently in the budget. Most of the revenue expected is coming from there uh, as well. Um, is there any change from last year that indicates to you more efforts to diversify the economy and get more revenue from other sectors? Um, if there's any change at all, I think it's um, very marginal. Um, traditionally, the um, oil sector would, has always contributed about 70% um, of the government's total revenue expectations. Um, it's not different this year. Um, and the reason for that is that the things that need to happen are very fundamental. Um, it will take a lot of guts and political will for any government to implement the policy, you know, initiatives and directions that will significantly reverse that's over dependence on oil and nobody has been able to do that so it's it's really really to be very honest it's more of the same oh yeah <laughs> it's more of the same all right well, i'll come back i still have a question uh, we'll just take a short break and we'll come back and continue this conversation just stay with us <laughs> 